hello and welcome back to my channel <laughs> uh this is dr tesh uh welcome back to my channel so in this channel we are talking all things medicine healing and motivation <laughs> channel you guys and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for subscribing uh thank you for supporting the girl thank you for coming back to the channel and uh you know if you are new here thank you for clicking on this channel thank you for reaching us and i hope that you actually find a home um so we're talking everything medicine healing and motivation um today i wanted to share a word about what I've learned in being alone. Um, the title of this video is called The Power of Being Alone. How do we describe being alone? You know, if you go on Google, they will tell you all sorts of definitions. And um, it basically just says that, you know, when you are alone, you are in a space or in an area that basically doesn't have any outside influence. Right. So being alone, right, is 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 all about, you know, maintaining this internal environment. Um, being alone, right, is all about having control uh, about about yourself you know about your surroundings control over your emotions your feelings your thoughts etc etc so anything that allows you to basically just be of outside influence right is is considered to be you know alone or you could say you are a loner right things that I'm learning um, about the power of being alone. So I always say I'm a loner, you know, I'm a loner by birth. <laughs> I've always been a loner. I've always been um, somebody who sort of like enjoys their alone time. Um, I've always been like that, like since I was a child. I remember when I would basically like sit in my room when I was, when I was younger and my mom used to you know she would come into the room and you know i would have this very serious face on and she would basically come into the room and say <laughs> so my mom had this very weird nickname for me and she used to say pe or she used to say gel right so she it, those are the two names she calls me by when she's in happy in a happy mood otherwise hey natasha <laughs> when she says natasha you must know her hey 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 this will be like hey hey <laughs> you know uh, hence till this day i don't like people calling me by my full name i don't like people calling me um natasha right rather just say tash natasha just sounds so serious yazin it's like you know what like you're in trouble so she had these two nicknames for me the, the first one was pay um i don't know what that means uh secondly it was girl right like girl right but you know our parents like their accent you say girl and so I would be sitting in like a room, like as a child and basically in my own thoughts, um, basically just being alone, basically just listening to myself, not conversating, not doing anything. And I found myself in these moments of, you know, just solidarity or just being a loner. And she would come in and say, you know which translates to my girl are you angry like what's wrong are you angry does something bother you are you upset and my response would always be like no i'm just i'm just being me <laughs> you know i would have nothing ready to say i'm not angry i'm just 
in my own thoughts i'm always just like you know thinking about what i'm thinking about at the time you know and so i went through life sort of like you know understanding that you know this is me um i am um very much alone a loner in nature um i'm i'm very much what they would call an introverted person um i'm an extroverted introvert um meaning that you know when i hang out with people when you know when i'm in certain spaces i can be very social um you know i can be sometimes the life of the party and, and that sometimes like shocks people like eh? is, is that tash yeah um but about 85 percent of the time i'm in my own space i've just always always grown up like this um when i went to my first university per se you know i i didn't go to rates because the idea of like sharing things with people and stuff like that like didn't quite fascinate me you know so i lived in a commune you know where i had like my own room and then maybe just like share a kitchen with people and stuff like that and then again you know after that um i then came to china and then i've always been living alone i've always just lived alone and i'm still currently alone and i'm here to share about what the power of being alone can do the power of 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 being in your own space without any outside influence you know what that can do for you as a person and what the benefits of that first thing that i've learned in being alone is being alone helps you to make better decisions about certain things that happen in your life. It helps you make better choices and certain choices without the noise of the outside influence, right? So for me, being alone has helped to open up a lot about learning more about myself as an individual, um, not per se like what's on paper but you know what are my interests you know what 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 do i like um in 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 different things what do i like in food the choices of music um um it has taught me a lot about um my spirituality you know it has it has helped me question a lot of things um why do i do certain things why do we believe certain things why do we practice certain things and and all of these ideas and all of these questions and all of these things have come about in me being alone and sort of like interrogating what it is that i gravitate naturally towards so i would say being alone helps you to make better choices and 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 make better decisions about your life you know outside of the noise of other people your friends per se your family per se you know it helps you to learn more about who you are it helps you to learn more about you know like i said the things that you like what you gravitate towards uh what you are naturally inclined to um the second thing that i would say being alone does is that being alone can actually help us to improve our concentration our concentration and memory for me i have found that i meditate better when i am in silence so meditation is a practice that you know i've been trying to incorporate a lot now and learning a lot about you know over the years and it's basically just sort of blocking out every single thought every single thing that you see as your perception your reality in the now blocking out all the noise and you know having some sort of focus point nature whether you'd like to think about a certain happy thought but trying to block out all the noise and all because you know as human beings we're always having you know these thoughts we're having this information download you know because we are all spirit beings we are all spirit beings having a physical experience there's so many things constantly going up and down in our minds our minds are fluctuated with things you know so it's important to take out a moment to sort of just block that out and listen and have a time to listen 
You know, a lot of us are always talking, talking, talking. You're talking to the, the, your friend, like, on your phone call. You know, you're talking to people on, on, on your Instagram, on your Facebook. You know, you, you're, you know, constantly texting. You're bombarded with so much information at once. And we just don't have time to process, you know, what is the inner you saying? What is the spiritual you saying? What is God saying for some people who like to put it that way? What is God saying? And how can we hear the voice of God if we're constantly surrounded by friends? We're constantly surrounded by, you know, uh, boyfriends. We're constantly surrounded by just people in general, whether that's on social media, whether that's in our homes, you know, it, there's just too much traffic. You know, that sometimes God is trying to communicate with us, but because that we, we're not intentionally, you know, listening, because we're not intentionally plugging in, being alone is helping me improve my concentration. It's helping me improve my memory. Um, and another thing that I'm finding right now in just being alone and living alone is that, you know, like I said, the messages become clearer. One thing about me when I studied through medical school, I wasn't a fan of studying in groups. I just, I just didn't like that. I was like, if, if I needed help or something, I would ask somebody like a specific thing, but group study for me, like just didn't work out because for me, I first had to internalize the information first, then I can go out there and then talk to someone about it. So studying alone for me was a very powerful practice because when I used to study alone, you know, I would, I would, sometimes I would find myself in bursts of moments where I'm like, I'm teaching this particular topic to someone and it sticks better that way. But if I'm listening to somebody teach me something, it's, it's not going to have the same effect. It's not going to have sort of like the same gravity. Do you understand what I mean? So it definitely helps when it comes to memory, just being with yourself, just listening to yourself. What are the thoughts that are going through in your mind at this particular time? Shutting out the noise, the noise, the noise. You see, there's so much noise outside. There's so much noise outside that we cannot hear what we have to think, what, what spirit is saying, what God is saying. We can't, we can't hear because we're constantly in the noise. When you are alone, um, piggybacking off of the memory and concentration, when you are alone, you get to be creative. You see, it's in my lonesome also that I found that I can, I can listen to the messages that, you know, are, are, are coming through. And, you know, sometimes I'm like, okay, these ideas come through. God is saying, you should talk about this on your YouTube channel. You should do this and that on your YouTube channel. You should do this and that. You should establish this and that business. Um, so it definitely helps with your creativity. Because when you are alone, you know, you know, sometimes guys, you are in certain environments and not everybody around you loves you. One thing about people, they will project, right? They will project their thoughts and their ideas and their negativity and their doubts and their feelings on you, right? And that person will come and say, but how are you going to do that? Isn't that like a little too far-fetched? Don't you think that's a little out of reach? Or immediately shut down your creative idea and say, I don't think this is like, yeah, you know. So being alone will help you to improve your creativity, improve your ideas and get fixated on that and get concentrated on that and, 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 and get those ideas out and get those things, get things done, get things done. Being alone helps you to get things done. The things that you wanted to do, the things that you want to see happen, try to rid yourself of, off of certain people, try to rid yourself off of certain spaces. You see, instead of partying all the time, instead of being the life of, of the party all the time, instead of being around people all the time, try to internalize, focus that energy, right? And internalize it and see what will come out of it. You might find that you get a lot of more things done. You might be more productive. You might be more intentional with your things just by being alone. You're constantly out there drinking your party. When do you have time to listen to yourself? When do you have time to understand what it is that God wants to, to speak to you? What God wants to say to you? Because God is always speaking. It's just a, a matter of, are we listening? Are we listening when God speaks?
the power of being alone me being alone has opened up a lot of things in my life that you know i'm i'm still going to talk about before my dad actually passed away i had a dream about that i dreamt and i dreamt of him just being in this accident and he was injured right this was like on the 2nd of march 2nd of march last year 2022 on the 2nd of july on the 2nd of july my dad got shot literally almost four months down the line on the exact date around the exact date and time you see god is always speaking to us it's just a matter of are we listening are we tuning in allow god to access your thoughts allow god to be the leader of your thoughts allow god to be the leader of what is happening in your life when you're constantly surrounded by 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 you know saying that says you know cleanliness is next to godliness cleanliness is next to godliness you see sometimes god wants to help us sometimes god wants to access us sometimes god wants to warn us about certain things but because we are constantly surrounded by friends, because we are constantly, uh, you know what, we're on social media, because we're constantly in gossip with other people, because we're constantly surrounded by negativity, because we're constantly, you're sleeping around with different peoples. You're sleeping around with different peoples. You are never alone. You are never alone. How is God supposed to access us? Cleanliness is next to godliness cleanliness is next to godliness sometimes it is our own environment that is hindering us from 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 elevating in life why nowadays these days people have different partners they dating people next month ki kathy next month ki katrina next month kikarabo like when do you have time to listen to what god is saying when do you have time to listen to yourself to what your spirit is saying to you you won't have time to get things done you don't have time to be creative you see because you're in this environment that does not allow you to be alone solitude is very important it's one thing that I'm learning. Solitude is important because it's in those moments that spirit is teaching. Because it's in those moments that you get to hear clearly. You get to hear clearly. You get to listen clearly. You get to see clearly. You get, you get access to things clearly. It's in those moments that the Holy Spirit can have access to you. When you're not constantly surrounded by noise when you're not constantly surrounded by the noise of your family when you're not constantly surrounded by the thoughts of your family by the negative influences of some people in your friendship circles when you're not constantly surrounded by outside influences and distractions that is where the power is going to come through when you are alone you have time to structure your things you have time to pray you have time to manifest. You have time to write down your goals. You have time to think about what it is that I want out of life. The power of solitude. The power of being alone. You see, sometimes you just need to get rid of certain things in your life. And, and, and God will never elevate you when you are mm -mm, mm -mm, constantly surrounded by noise. Constantly surrounded by noise. Constantly, there are certain things that are hindering blockages in your life. You see, not everybody that is around you loves you. Not everybody that is around you, uh, not everybody who is around you. And so God needs to take you out of certain environments. Sometimes also being alone. God makes us become alone. God makes us become loners because he's also trying to protect us. The power of being alone. The power of being alone and the last thing that i want to share what being alone is doing for me also is you know we live in an age nowadays of social media and social media guys is a distraction it's such a distraction that you know when you wake up you are on facebook your instagram that's the only thing you think about you on instagram you're on facebook you're scrolling down your feed blah 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 
you know and you find yourself wasting an entire hour just scrolling through people's pictures scrolling through people's things when is it you know that you have time when does your brain rest when do you have time to recharge when when does your brain rest you're constantly here you're here right you're here the day goes by you're in on instagram you go to sleep you're on instagram you wake up you're on instagram your brain doesn't have time to recharge your brain doesn't have time to think about what it needs to think about you know and so allowing yourself to be in solitude sometimes helps you recharge your brain helps you to recharge your thoughts helps you helps to keep you again away from distractions helps to keep you away from distractions the body needs rest when are we resting when we are constantly here on our phones we are here tweeting every single time you know what i mean and this is the day and age that we live in that i feel that you know yes yeah, social media has become a tool i'm not fighting it i'm also on social media i'm you know i'm on i'm on youtube people watch my content and stuff like that we also you know just need sometimes to take time out to to recharge 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 listen listen you know uh meditate uh pray drink water you know what i'm saying journal those things are important what is it that spirit is saying what is it that god is saying are we tuning in or are we just constantly in distracted modes we have no focus we, we we're gossiping all the time like that cannot be life you see the universe is teaching the universe is teaching us but do we have a teachable spirit are we are we are we tuned in are we learning the universal lessons that are coming through see there's been there's been many great teachings about the power of solitude and one particular one that i remember reading up on is how buddha the buddha right for the buddhist faith buddha was teaching and he said it is better to be alone than to be with a fool i think or to be surrounded by fools there's so many things that we are going to learn just by taking the time off to recharge just by taking the time off to meditate just by taking the time off off of social media these things have filtered are infiltrating our minds these things are infiltrating our plans sometimes just plug out you know out of facebook sometimes just plug out out of instagram for a month and listen to what it is that your body is telling you to do when will you have time to go to the gym you're constantly on instagram five hours I don't have time to work out. You don't have time to walk. You don't have you don't have time to to do anything J productive. The power of solitude. Anyway, thank you guys for clicking and uh watching my channel. Um we are on the road to 20,000 subscribers. <laughs> 20,000 subscribers guys listen i'm so so excited um i personally have a goal that by the end of this year um that i want to reach um but yeah we're on 20,000 subscribers we're going on the road to 20,000 subscribers please if you have not subscribed to my channel please do um i'm really grateful for you know for your support if you come here watching my content uh, and I hope you learn from it, you know, as always. So uh, remember that eating and living well is a form of self-respect. So remember to respect yourself. Goodbye.